Hey, welcome back, everybody, and this is the TNT Tuesday for February 5th, 2019. So today we're going to be taking a look at CAMS, investigating CAMS, getting the important information from CAMS and what they do. Uh, in this simple assembly, you can see I have a CAM. Okay, I do have a follower rod uh, that is making contact with it. We have the ruler, and what's really cool is, is that we can come over here and we can slide this back and forth to the angle degree that we're looking for. Okay, when we do that, like right now I'm on zero degrees, I can go out there and get one measurement from where the top of the CAM is is and where the top of the follower rod is. Okay, what's nice and handy to do is to go out here and go ahead and have an Excel spreadsheet set up and ready to go. And we can start plugging in those numbers for every 15 degrees. Okay, when I compile this, this is what we should be seeing. And what's really cool is, is we can come out here and we can grab all that data. We can go up to insert, come over here and put this into a scatter plot and check it out. We have now gotten a motion graph um, indicating the motion of both the top of the follower rod as well as the top of the cam. But did you know you can come here to the second column, come up here to insert, Insert, go to radar graph and now that is actually going to spit out okay the cam profile shape pretty awesome stuff all right but here's something uh, that I've actually found out the hexagon does not want to work like this it will come out spitting it out like a Chinese uh, throwing star what you can do is come here to format chart axis okay come up here to chart options and when you pick on chart options you're gonna pick on the radar value axis come to this little bar grid and come to axis options and now you can fix this by picking on logarithmic scale putting in a base unit of five and it will make that look like a hexagon cam so just a couple options for you when you are investigating cams with this TNT Tuesday